anyone who intends to build will certainly need um, an architecture design, you'll need a structure design, you'll need electrical design, you'll need the plumbing design and the mechanical design and all that. But in this video, we are going to, to be specific, we are going to talk about the most essential drawings, which is the architecture design and also the structure design. So um, we are going to be discussing uh, the difference between the architecture design and the structure design. And we're also going to be discussing the specific scenarios in which you need the architecture design or the structure design or both. Okay, so what's going on guys? Welcome back to this channel that's all about architecture, engineering and construction. And we also are all about bettering the African narrative. Uh, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. On this channel we talk about general and specific information about construction and architecture. And so if you're interested in information like this, uh, please subscribe to the channel and also share with your friends. So that you can also not miss out on this kind of information okay so heading right into the video um we have an architecture design and we have a structure design and we have to break them down the difference between both of these two okay so the architecture design is basically more concerned with the functionality of the building in terms of space utilization uh, where are the bedrooms located where are the where is the living room located basically the, the arrangement of the spaces in the building and also how these spaces are actually interacting with each other and then it's also more concerned with the things like air circulation in the building and also things like privacy basically and also the general outlook of the building how does the building look on the outside what are the colors does it, what colors does it have what is the exterior design on the building is it a Mediterranean style is it a futuristic style is it a contemporary design basically things like that and then um, the structure design is actually more concerned with the safety of the building that basically the structure integrity of the building uh, the sizes of the columns the sizes of the beams and also how all these things how this beautiful architecture marble is being held together by a system or by a network of columns and the beams and slabs which usually are not seen after the building has actually been completed okay because they are all covered with the architectural aspects of it so um looking at this looking at the architecture design it requires a set of technical skills and a lot of creativity to pull off an architectural design whereas for a structure design or for the structured drawings it requires a lot of physics and mathematical calculations um, when we are looking at a structure design in this scenario, we look at the different forces or different loads that the building is going to be subjected to during its lifetime. We look at things like the forces of wind, we look at things like forces of earthquake, we look at things like the... Um, we look at things like the self weight of the building and then you also look at the human loads that, are, that the building is going to be subjected to for example if you're doing a, if we are designing like a gym or we are designing a place that is like a hotel or a residential structure or commercial structure we do not assume or we do not estimate the same loads that the building is going to be subjected to okay so uh, after looking at all these loads that are going to be subjected to the building during its lifetime uh, we come up with a set of calculations and then we are able to, to, to determine what's the size of the columns is going to be and what steel reinforcement bars are going to be and then their sizes and then the arrangements, the stirrups, look at the grade of concrete that is going to be used and also look at the mix ratios that are going to be used to actually achieve that strength of concrete. Basically, it's a lot of more physics and mathematics and usually if you look at the result of the, of the structure design, it's not usually comprehensible by a layman. What I mean a layman is someone who has not had any formal, has not had any technical training in understanding structure design, might not be able to interpret what a structure design is. You'll just be seeing lines and markings on the structure design and also just a few construction uh, notes, but you might not be able to comprehend them, okay? Whereas for an architecture design, it's easily understandable by a layman, by a normal human being, you know? You just look at the spaces, you look at how the beautiful, the, the building is beautiful, you look at the different things like the colors of the building, you're able to relate with an architecture design to look at how the spaces of your building are being arranged and all things like that. Where am I going to place the furniture? Where is the TV going to be? Where is the bedroom going to be? How close is my bedroom to another person's bedroom? Basically things like that. Where is the bathroom? What, what privacy do I have? Is there enough lighting in an area like that? Basically things like that. So I'm going to give an um, example. Of course then I'll narrow down to our context as Uganda or as East Africa or as Africa in general. Um, let's say we are going to design a hotel. 
okay so when you look at something like designing a hotel you realize that uh, the architectural design is going to be more concerned with space utilization that is what are the sizes of these rooms and how are these rooms arranged with each other where are the places of convenience like the toilets and bathrooms where is the reception where is the manager sitting where is the services for example the changing rooms for the for the the changing rooms for the for the workers who work around there basically it's going to be more concerned with things like that and then on the structure design it's going to basically going to be determined on it's, it's going to be looking at how many floors do we have on this building what is the size of the columns what are the how are the rivers or the iron bars arranged what is the size and all things like that determining also that the depth of the foundation the sizes of the footings in the foundation and things like that so um for someone who is um Going to do a bungalow at least in africa if you're going to do a bungalow a building that basically has a building that basically has only one floor you are basically going to just need only architectural design you don't need any structural design but if you're building any structure that has more than one floor you certainly are going to need a, a structural design because you have suspended slabs you have a slab that is being suspended on, over the beams and also those uh, the columns and basically things like that uh also in the structure design we see how all these buildings and the structure are going to be safely transmitted into the foundation in the ground okay um then in our context as uganda the architecture design basically has a green stamp uh, that is the stamp of a registered architect who is uh, is who is regulated by the arb that is the architects registration board and then the structure design usually has a red stamp uh, which is for a registered engineer an engineer that, that is registered by erb erb is engineers registration board which is which also regulates the uganda institution of professional engineers so when you have all these together are uh, you also actually supposed to have a structure design report now a structure design report is where they hand over this book that has the calculations and the different assumptions that were made to design this building and also in case you want to make any alterations to the building okay let's say it was initially a residential structure and you want to trans uh, you want to change purpose and you want to change it from a residential building to probably a gym or a commercial structure you can refer to the structure design report or whichever engineer comes at that time to do the building or to make those modifications can look at the structure design reports to be uh, to be able to determine whether they can the building is safe to have a gym there or it is safe to have a commercial space there basing on how it was designed to be okay so i hope you guys are able to by now you should, you are able to determine the difference between an architecture design and a structure design so the next time you are going to build a struck a, a storage house expect to have a structure design even if the person doing it for you has not told you about it expect that at some point you will definitely have to acquire a structure design it is a requirement and um, it is important to have okay uh, there is no scenario where you'd be allowed to build a storage building without a structure design okay however if you're doing a bungalow you only need an architectural design that is really enough because uh, we in countries like africa we do not we are not subject to a lot of extreme forces of nature and extreme forces of, of the environment and you know and and weather we do not have a lot of tsunamis we do not have a lot of uh, we do not have earthquakes of very high magnitude that is why even bungalow houses can afford to be built without a structure design because most of the natural forces that we have most of the forces of nature that we have our buildings are able to withhold them okay whereas if we had big forces as those that you see happening in turkey happening in the usa happening in the uk it would also be a requirement just like it is in their countries to have a structure design even for bungalow structures okay otherwise thank you very much guys for watching i hope that you had a lot to learn from this video uh, please subscribe to the channel and also invite your friends to watch the video thank you very much and have a good time i'm darwin